Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about the introduction of time-based generators and what are the general features that a time-based generator has. So, what do you mean by time-based generator? Depending on certain time period, the signal waveform is generated. The time period we are prefixing it. Okay, depending upon the capacitor and resistor values. So, already we know the concept of time constant. Here, time-based generator is completely depending upon the concept of time constant. See here, time constant is nothing but time constant is nothing but tau RT is equal to product of resistance and capacitance existed in that particular path. Product of resistance and capacitance which are there in that Path. Suppose if I say capacitor is charging, consider a circuit like this. This is the resistance and capacitor. Suppose if you are having a voltage like VCC, when a capacitor is said to be in charging, then the current flows like this and capacitor charges. Capacitor charges. Then the charging period, how long the capacitor charges to get the entire voltage like VCC, that is tau is equal to R into C. Let us suppose this is R1, which is nothing but R1 into C is the charging period like T1. For the same capacitor, if I say capacitor is discharging, after some time, once the capacitor is completely acquired, the complete charge which is there in that particular path, after that, I just removed this voltage. I have just removed this particular voltage. Then what happens? Capacitor discharges. So charging path is different and discharging path is different here. Then what is the time constant T2 is equal to R2 into C. Here the capacitor value is same, but the resistor values are different. One for one is used for the charging period and the one other, another one is used for the discharging period. So as long as if we observe the voltage across this particular capacitor, then we will observe this type of nature in the capacitance. So voltage across capacitor charges like this and again discharges like this. So this particular waveform is said to be a sweep voltage or sweep signal or you can also call that circuit as time base signal time base generator the circuit which generates such type of waveforms is known as time base generator or sweep generator or a sawtooth waveform generator okay that is the name of this particular time base generator what is the meaning of time base generator uh, we are fixing we are fixing the value of resistance and capacitance here here the time is particularly depending upon the product of resistance and capacitance means if i choose the value of this capacitor like 1 kilo ohm and resist capacitance has resistance as 1 kilo ohm and capacitance has something like 1 microfarad then the resultant signal time period during on period is like 1 millisecond 1 millisecond okay that means depending on the values only the time period is fixed that means we are fixing what is the amount of time period in terms of resistors and capacitors so that's why this particular period where the capacitor charging is known as where capacitor charging is known as sweep period sweep period sweep period is nothing but the period at which the capacitor tries to charge up to the maximum voltage in that particular path. Here our path is VCC, so maximum voltage is VCC. And during discharging period, the discharging period is known as a retrace period. Discharging period is known as retrace period TR. So TS is known as sweep time. TS is known as sweep time and TR is known as retrace time or restoration time or return time or flyback time. There are several names for this one. Retrace time, retrace time, restoration time, restoration time or return time. 
or flyback time that means which is coming back flyback time okay so the there are several names for this restoration time or uh, retrace time which is where the capacitor is discharging and for rising period where the capacitor is charging is nothing but sweep time sweep time okay so this is what the time based generator introduction and how the waveform is going to be generated in the time based generators based on time we are generating the waveform okay v not now so there are different types of parameters that we should analyze if we consider a time based generator in general so the parameters that we are going to analyze from this time based generator are the parameters need to be analyzed needed to be analyzed for the time based generator for the time based generator is r first one the slope or sweep speed error the slope or sweep speed error which is indicated by e s okay the slope or sweep speed error which is indicated by e s and the second parameter is the displacement error the displacement error so displacement error is indicated by e d and third one the transmission error et transmission error et e t okay so these are the three parameters that we should analyze for any type of time based generator one is sweep type one is uh, slope or sweep sweep uh, sweep speed error es and second one displacement error third one transmission error et now let us look at the first one sweep speed error es the first one is sweep speed error es sweep speed error or we can also call slope error we can also call it as slope error es so an important requirement of a sweep is that it must increase linearly with time so what is the sweep voltage what i have drawn during charging period there should there should be an increment linearly this is the capacitor charging period this is discharging period okay this is actually the capacitor charging which is uh, occurred during high capacitance value during uh, high capacitance value it takes very long time to charge and very long time to discharge then we will be having this uh, steep curve okay so an important requirement for this sweep is that it must increase linearly with time that is the rate of change of this sweep voltage with time will be always constant okay that means y is equal to mx like that y is equal to mx if you say uh, it is a constant value slope is nothing but it's varying with respect to y and x it is constant value this deviation from linearity is defined as suppose if i am saying a deviation it is like this suppose it will be like this in practical ideally we are expecting it it will it will be like this a linear t linear signal but practically i am getting a waveform like this due to the change in the value of the capacitor then this particular change is nothing but error okay this is slope error slope actually it should be like this 
m is equal to y by x but what happens there will be some deviation in the slope of this particular waveform so slope or sweep speed error es is equal to difference in slope at beginning and at the ending of the sweep difference in slope at beginning and end of slope end of sweep divided by initial value of slope initial value of slope okay so the sweep speed error or slope error is defined as the ratio of difference in slope at the beginning and at the end of the sweep divided by initial value of the slope initial value of the slope we can say the mathematical expression for this one is dv naught by dt at the initial value is nothing but t is equal to 0 minus dv naught by dt a final value let us consider the final value at t is equal to some ts sweep time because it is ts only what i said earlier in the previous slide it is sweep time ts and it is retrace time tr okay so ts is the final value of this slope and initial value is dv naught by dt at t is equal to 0 initial value this is the expression for the slope error or sweep speed error now coming to the second parameter which is going to be analyzed for a time based generator the displacement error the displacement error ed displacement error is indicated by ed so another important parameter which is going to be calculated in this calculation of time based generator is nothing but your displacement error it is defined as it is defined as ed is equal to it is nothing but it is also something like a ratio maximum difference between the actual sweep voltage and the linear sweep which passes through the beginning and at the point end points of the actual sweep divided by amplitude of the sweep at the end of the sweep time so we'll write here maximum difference between the actual sweep between the actual sweep and the linear sweep linear sweep which passes through which passes through the beginning and beginning and end points of the actual sweep end points of the actual sweep divided by divided by amplitude of the sweep at the end of the amplitude of the sweep at end of sweep time nothing but ts so we can write it as vs minus vs dash max it is the maximum difference divided by vs okay so what do you mean by this one is if you draw a waveform a ramp voltage okay i am taking a ramp as input signal and this type of input is applied 
then the output voltage I am getting like this. Okay. The maximum difference is nothing but here we will be having maximum difference. End of the voltage is nothing but this one. Okay. So in the similar way we can also express the third parameter which is the transmission error. The transmission error. which is indicated by ET. So the transmission error ET when a ramp signal is applied through a high pass RC circuit, nothing but the same RC circuit what we have discussed so far. The output falls away from the input as shown here. Okay, uh, this is what the ramp signal. When this ramp signal is applied to the high pass RC circuit, just there is a deviation here. There is some deviation here. This is the ramp input signal, which is a linear signal. But because of the application of this signal to the high pass RC circuit, that high pass RC circuit due to the capacitance existence, definitely there exists some deviation between the input and output. Okay. And so this amplitude we are taking it as Vs dash and it is Vs. So therefore, the error ET, transmission error ET is equal to the difference between V1, Vs dash input minus output by input. Okay. So here, Vs dash is nothing but input signal, Vs is nothing but output signal at the end of the sweep. Always we are talking at the end of the sweep. This is at the end of the sweep. Okay. Ts. Okay, so these are the different parameters that we should analyze when we are going to implement any type of time-based generators with the help of resistance and capacitance. Thank you.